M0FXB iRadio UV928 or the Radtail 880. Now this is the non-GPS version. There has been new firmware 1.05 but and it has added GPS APRS but if you haven't got the module inside or the modules inside I feel that even APRS on a fixed location so a location that you enter uh, APRS is still not going to work because if you go menu basic settings go down to extended menu extended functionality enter now we can go into GPS and we can turn it on let's go back but we're using fix so we're not gonna let's just quickly go in there there's your on off go back and now we'll go to APRS APRS which is on and you can set fixed okay and we've already entered our our you know our deed our location but you've got beacon set up and as soon as you're going to put your call sign in watch it won't let me okay it lets me do SSID and symbols we need to know your symbols though um, there you go look police sheriff digi look at all this mobile satellite these are all the different you know preset ones it's good that they've done that and um, i'm sure they're working on this comment put a comment in see if it lets me do that yeah it does h and then i you can change here look hash button lowercase chinese and then capital so that's good that you can do that mic e on off <clears throat> not really sure what that is <clears throat> mic e mode is this all to do with um what's it when they when they're tracking you i forgot now the digi tracking sort of thing you've got your paths now i tried to enter a path so you've got paths like wide one and wide two W, let's see if that goes in, because earlier it wouldn't go in. It's got, it's showing this, if I just press enter a minute. Is that starting to go in? I'll try it with the software as well. Let's just do that again, and we'll do the hash. Let's see if we can put in a W, hash for capitals. Yeah, it's not going in. mileage ssd i'm just going to show you how to get your fixed location in go back to gps coordinate type look you got that distance out there is there fixed latitude there you are and i just typed it in you literally just type it in you press the hash to go north or west uh, so that wasn't too bad. Fixed longitude. You just type it in, Google it if you know, don't know it, and then look, you've got your hash button for east or west and stuff. So, you know, I can see it's going to be usable. You know, I'm going to have a look at the software and see if it allows me to add more things and send it to the radio. I've made my own cable. It's a CH340K. Okay. Well, you can order one, but you've got to wait a while from China. Um, but it's just basically a CH340 at one end, which you can buy these TTL things and just put these connectors on. You've got yellow and blue for receive, transmit information. Then you've got a wire there, red and black. So it, it, it's daunting when you think about doing it. When you buy the actual adapter and you just grab a data USB-C and chop it. There's only four wires. Well, you know what red and black are. So you've only got to get... You know, guess the, t the other two, and they won't break the radio. Uh, you do need to be careful on the red and black, but not on the blue and yellow. Or it might be, they might be different colours. They might be white. Um, and then next thing you know, you've got a cable. Mine works great. Uh, so thanks for watching. Or if you've got an existing cable, which is USB C at one end, you can put an adapter at the other end for large for the large USB. Uh, that'll work. But you always need the CH three four zero chip somewhere. 
Thanks for watching. I know we haven't done APRS. I'm going to have a little look at the software now. But, you know, the firmware update is good. It now allows you, if you turn it off, hold down the arrow and turn on. You'll see. It says full band. And you can now, say, putting 27 megs up here. Now, it's using the first antenna, 027. It will allow you to put it in and mix and match. Now, I think that's because we had some activity there. Oh, there you are, mix and match now, uh, where it didn't before. And, you know, the scope's working good. Hold down. Quite pleased with that. And I was doing airband scanning earlier. And you can actually hear it now. You hold down the hash. You want to be looking at not, not scanning. It should be monitor mode, surely. Uh, let's try that again. You can see all the activity. And changing actual mode. We're on FM there. Pressing the flat line. Look. AM. And uh, you can change the squelch just by pressing the star. Watch the green writing. Move down. That's step. But you can move it there. Look, that's just squelch. So now we've got, uh, we got 80. Now you can't just go up and down. You have to type it. You have to go O. Oh, Six O, oh, and that lowers it. We just need some activity now. And remember, the middle antenna is for HF. So if we come out, go into HF. It says starting radio. Remember, the middle antenna, whenever you're using the middle antenna, you will never be able to transmit. Ever. But you can look. See the star? Put it next to the frequency, press it, you want the little white arrow. And then you can just... You're in HF, and it works well. It does work well. Someone there. Change the step. See, in this case, you do use the arrow. Move the star back up. And, and it does work well. That's all I can say. It does work well. Changing mode is a, a brief press here. If you hold it, you change the whole band. If you go to the next to the channel, then you can use preset channels that you've put in. Number one there, look. These are presets, and you can change the name as well. So, yeah, there is learning. But even when you learn it, it's, it, you know, it's a lot to take in. And that's why I say this is basically a shack in the box. There's so much that it does that no one is expected to, to learn this and remember it. Because I learn, but I forget very quickly. Um, and then I have to re-go back and then watch my own videos and relearn Because there's, the amount of stuff they've packed into this... 65 pound radio is unbelievable. I've got a feeling the GPS one's going to be nearer the 100. Uh, actually, no less than that. I would say more like 80, 80, 85. But wow, you know, there is nothing like this with the color screen at this price, at this quality as well. There is nothing like this. I mean, I've got my D75 here, which I love. I mean, look at the size of the screen. I know this does D star, but this does HF receive and airband. But 800 pound. 70 come on it's just literally wow that's, that's the only word i can think of is wow bye for now seven three